cloud.com certification slash cloud architect so not any other website official website so if you see this official website they mention as a cloud architect what you are going to do so we'll talk about that in a minute your roles and responsibility after you finish your certification so what are the things which you are going to do and they also mention about the certification the duration blah 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 which we are going to talk at a later point of time but this is the most important thing for now so let me just zoom this for your better view prerequisites is none so if you are totally coming from a non cloud background no problem so the only recommendation is you have at least three plus years of experience in the IT industry folks in the IT industry uh, where you know uh, what is a browser what is a Linux command how do I uh, run a virtual machine what is a database it could be any database so those basic stuffs if you know it's all good and uh, they also mentioned to take up the exam you should have one year experience in designing so that's what we are going to gain now so the entire training is going to be for 15 uh, weeks so you will spend at least four weeks so it's going to be close to something like three months four months kind of a stuff so you will be almost there is what i would say so your burning question is my prerequisite so i i guess many of you called me directly so i had told there's no prerequisite so it was from my mouth but you are seeing it from the official documentation there so hope it is clear there uh, uh, i'll just pause it here for any questions folks this was the first slide i just wanted to make you as comfortable as possible before we proceed uh, further with the prerequisites all those things uh, any questions folks okay uh, I'll take silence for my advantage. No questions at any point of time. It's a very small group folks don't uh, hesitate and I don't have a constraint of time. Uh, so how long so um, I have taken multiple classes a few classes have taken uh, more than the uh, expected time because if it's through an organization or a training organization we have to finish it within that stipulated stipulated time. The whole intent of this class is uh, you should get the concept and that's very very important that is a key part and uh, i'm very much particular about it and uh, any questions uh, you ask uh, i'll try to answer it if i don't get an answer to it i'll definitely make sure i'll answer it in the upcoming session so that's a key part there so the focus for this uh, training is primarily on this cloud architect this is the one which you we are focusing on uh, now we are just going to get us a glimpse of why this cloud architect only uh, why it is so important uh, to just give you that understanding uh, let me show you the other gcp certifications which is available and why this is something very very unique the one which we are going through not just because we are getting trained uh, it's very unique but there are some specific reasons for that also so to make this very clear right um, i tried to avoid uh, referring back to the last year uh, it could not it may not be a memorable year for many of us but just wanted to take that last year's uh, uh, instance uh, there so last year for everyone uh, the the hot spot or the heaven sweet uh, place to leave was our home home sweet home was a thing so uh, and for everybody uh, building or having a own house is like a dream is what i understand so uh, even for me it was that was one of my uh, goals so so let's take that same example home sweet home example uh, assume you have planning to have your own house it could be an independent house villa a flat a flat whatever it is you have all the necessary financial stuffs for it so you have the necessary budget uh, the home loan everything you have applied everything is ready now it's the next part is you have to start uh, maybe like an independent house would be a better choice here or maybe a flat also is okay now if you have the financial stuffs ready what is the first thing which you are going to do you are going to say uh, the the kitchen should be like this the living room should be like this i should have a duplex all those things is what going to come to your mind so whom you are going to reach out to for this folks if you were to build a house a dream house of your choice architect uh, civil a civil engineer or an architect is what you are going to basically uh, do 
So the same thing is what you are also going to do. So the first part is plan and design to plan and design your house. You need to have an architect similarly to plan and design your various components in GCP. You are going to use basically you need to have the skills. That is where the certification professional cloud architect comes into picture. Now once you have built uh, got a blueprint from the civil engineer or from the architect. What is the next thing which you are going to do for a minute? Let's go and think as if it is like an independent house. So what is the most important thing for a house folks? Uh, the blueprint is given afterwards. You're going to lay the foundation, right? Uh, those foundations, the pillars, all those things you are going to do. That's the most important thing, right? How deep you go uh, seven feet or something like that. They have a, a number so so that you can have multiple uh, multiple flows easily. So the foundation is very important. What's important for a cloud is network. So the network design is very, very important. Uh, I can make a very, very bold statement saying that without network, there's no cloud. Be it Google Cloud Platform, Azure, AWS, uh, there's nothing going to be there. So network is very, very important. Now, this is going to be the foundation. So that is where this certification called as professional network engineer comes into picture uh, similar to our foundation for our house. Now once you have laid the foundation, everything is good. Uh, you are starting building it at the same time. The house which we build should be also uh, very safe from any earthquakes or any kind of uh, natural calamity stuff. So similarly, it should be also safe from any uh, any kind of uh, attacks basically so the security also plays a major role so similarly in cloud security is also an important thing so you start when you start building the architecture uh, it should also have security in place it's not that after you finish the entire architecture you try to uh, put security features on top of it that's not going to work it has to be part of the design itself and uh, that is going to be designed by cloud architect and who is going to implement it for us. It's going to be the security engineer professional cloud security engineer and these three have a special unique combination which I'm going to talk towards the end. So now we have a blueprint. We have laid the foundation. We have also made it secure. Then what else go start doing the implementation. Now uh, if you take the house example now this is where the the people come in and start building the house. So lay bricks uh, cement all those things are going to come. So you're going to build some pipeline. The similar thing here in GCP or in any cloud is going to be you build some you do some ETL extract transform load kind of stuff. So you build some pipelines. You want to do some AI stuff machine learning stuff. So that's where a specific uh, certification called as professional data engineer comes into picture now once you have done this this is basically the back end stuff uh, pipelines all those things nobody is going to see the back end so everybody wants to have a very a cool website a very cool app running so for that you need to design some applications also um, or a bi stuffs so that's where a certification called as professional cloud developer who's going to write code in a language which is expected it could be java python all those things this is professional cloud developer now the application is built meaning this is basically like the cosmetics of your uh, house so interior decoration all those things so how an interior decoration team does it the same thing an app development team does it now everything is good uh, back end is running the front end is running with a very nice stuff how do you operationalize it everything is good now you have to operationalize it uh, the entire infrastructure. So that's where DevOps uh, comes into picture and there is a specific certification which Google offers called as professional cloud DevOps engineer. Now everything is done. Uh, the architecture which you gave as a cloud architect has been implemented successfully by various uh, team network engineer security engineer data engineer cloud developer and DevOps engineer. Now all good. Now this is like you have built your house perfectly fine. Everything is good. Now you want to have somebody to monitor the house. It could be a CCTV or it could be a, a, a person uh, a security person or something 
who wants to keep monitoring if there's any issues or anything uh, happens with the house the same thing any issues or anything monitoring support all those things ongoing support that's where a specific certification called as associate cloud engineer comes into picture uh, now people with aws background uh, slightly think okay this is associate should i start with this one i strongly suggest if you are planning to take associate one spend 30 days more and take a professional cloud architect uh, this thing so this is because in aws there are different certifications available levels associate is like a junior level professional is like a senior level but in gcp the entire gcp there's only one associate uh, certification which is associate cloud engineer many people think i should take that because aws was has been there for a long time it has uh, created a buzz all those things so now people if they're thinking of gcp they think let me start with an associate i would strongly suggest no that's not the approach prefer to use a uh, cloud architect because it's first thing professional the uh, the grade is slightly higher uh, if you can spend 60 days to learn associate engineer why don't you spend 30 more days and become a cloud architect that's what i'm going to say and it's not only because we are doing a session uh, i'm emphasizing on it but there are a few other points also which i wanted to share in the next slide uh, so how many how many uh, how many certification do we need uh, programming skills that's going to be the next uh, slide which i'm going to talk about now the most important thing uh, in this entire stuff is i would say this one because if you don't have a blueprint you cannot do anything so this is technically if you see that is where we are starting at and uh, we give a blueprint which is very very reliable robust which is going to work which is going to have dr plans all those things so now to answer one of the question uh, of these certifications which one requires a programming skills so let's get that answered in our next slide <laughs> 